Hello guys, look at this melty beef nachos. Here's the ingredients, ground beef, meat masala, peppers, salt, chili flakes, oregano, ground ginger, coriander, and soy sauce, and a tablespoon of tomato paste. Mix it with your ground beef. I will have some spinach here. Then I put some nachos in a baking sheet. I use aluminum foil, aluminum foil or you can use some uh, cookies uh, sheet. Then we have some coriander. Yes, I'm waving the coriander. Hello, showing you the coriander. Then, after you cook all your beef, you're going to put it on the top. All before that, just sprinkle any kind of shredded cheese. Mozzarella cheese is much better, but this is the cheese that they have in the kitchen. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle on the top of the nachos. So it's going to stick to the nachos. Yeah, just put large amount, then sprinkle on the top of it all the ground beef and the spinach that you cooked a while ago. Okay, just give them a good portion. Make it like spread it all over your nachos. This beef is just like I have, um, um, like, I don't know, a quarter pound. Okay, just I keep on spreading all over the nachos and on the top of the cheese. Give a full amount. Wag tiperin, guys. Ayan. Sige pa. Because hmm, also any forward on videos, but this is so satisfying. So let's watch it. And you know, I didn't uh, tell you the measurement of all the um, um, spices that I put. It's up to you guys. You know, according to your taste, whatever you want. It depends kasi on how much pounds or how much kilos you're going to use um, or your ground beef like that for how many people. So it's up to you. It's, it's, it's really according to your taste. Yeah. Oh, that is almost full. But okay. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to put all the beef that I just cook. Because I'm... It's it's masa wrap if um full and loaded of ingredients. That's why I call it loaded nachos. Okay, okay. Then after that, diba, I slices I had I slice uh, some avocado and put it on the other half of it. Like I say, I don't want it to be I, I will use the half of avocado later for the dipping sauce then after that all we need to do is get your cheese sprinkle all over the meat give a good amount like wag tiperin para masarap diba ayan alas maupos na yung isang pack ng cheese sige lang all over lagyan ng marami na maraming cheese hanggang sa magsawa ka Ayan, 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 ayan. Sige pa, ipubod pa ang cheese. Put more cheese. Okay, hantayin natin. Ayan, oh, kumabay na ako. Oh, kulang pa. Sige, sige, sige. Put more cheese, add more. Add more, cover all the empty space. Just, just do whatever you want. In, yeah, okay. Thumbs up. Okay, okay. Now, then, put in the oven for 400 degrees. 
And only for 3 minutes. Habang nag-aantay tayo, ayan. Um, mag ano tayo ng cilantro natin. Maglilinis tayo. That is for the sauce later. Oh, habang nag-aantay, may pasayaw-sayaw pa yung cook ninyo. Ayan, peace! Okay, ano yung cilantro kanina? So, after na maluto na, ibubod sa taas. Just sprinkle all over. Oh, it's so good. Looks so good, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Ayan na. Ayan na. Ready na siya. Okay, tikman na natin, okay? Oh, tikman na natin. Tikman na natin. Ayan, idip mo yan. Yan yung cilantro kanina. Tapos, avocado at saka sour cream. I-blend ko na lang for the sauce. I just blended it. Mmm, yummy. It's so good, guys. Try nyo. So good. Thank you.